I actually started trading futures with gold. That was the primary thing. And then I was like trading just about everything. I was trading gold, NQ. This is before the micros, uh, ES and like four different currencies. I was trading all kinds of stuff. Eventually worked my way into just trading. I, I narrowed it down to like three, which was GCCL and NQ. And then from there, I eventually just decided I need to just pay attention to one thing and get good at this one thing, which I picked NQ. I don't really have an explanation for it. It just, I just vibrated with NQ for whatever reason. And I decided just to focus only on that one. And I've just been trading NQ ever since. I started out trading, day trading with stocks. I started out day trading equities. And what I didn't like about equities or day trading stocks is you got to build your watch list every single morning. And I actually wanted to actually learn the technicals and not have that distraction of trying to find something to trade every single morning. Now. There's ways around that, but this is my thought process in the beginning. Okay. So eventually I read a book that led me to futures. And so futures solved that problem of having to do a scan every day. But I did, I still did have a, like a basket of things that I was watching. And my thought process behind that was I knew that my strategy wasn't going to work all the time. So I selected multiple futures products to trade with the idea of somewhat hedging. So I knew that if my strategy wasn't gonna always work with NQ, but maybe when it didn't work with NQ, it would work with GC or CL or something else. And so in a way that would be a sort of a hedge to where my losses on the day wouldn't be as bad to the point to where I could probably be profitable overall on the day from trading all these different things. Now, what I didn't understand as a newbie was the challenge around trying to trade all of those different things not even having a lot of experience at that time or having a lot of experience with technical analysis and how these market works in the different market cycles so eventually I got to the point to where I just narrowed it down as much as I could and then I eventually just went to one thing to NQ and then that just showed me once I had a better understanding of the mechanics I realized I only need to trade one thing so I've just been sticking with NQ ever since. I kind of dabbled in EES and some other stuff in between there, but I've only really been trading NQ slash M and Q for like the last maybe three or four years. Yeah, about four years. A little over four years. I started sometime in 2018.